Conrad Cruelty Harper for GQ and we're here at the private jet terminal at Luton to try out the Honda jet. It goes for about five million US dollars and we're going to take a quick trip down to Newquay to see what it can do. I really think the most interesting thing about the Honda jet is how it looks. Apparently it was modelled on a Ferragamo stiletto. The Japanese designer, Mr Fujimo, made some doodles back in the 1980s based on that design. So it's really striking, it really stands out on the apron and it doesn't look like a lot of other private jets. The other very striking feature of the Honda jet is its over-the-wing engine mounts. The passengers get a lot more space inside. Most private jets have the engine attached to the fuselage. The aerodynamic design is a bit more efficient. Honda jets say it's about 17% more efficient than competitors. Apparently it decreases the noise, not only in the cabin, but apparently on the ground as well, so you're not disturbing people underneath the flight path. So another feature of the Honda jet that's pretty cool, I think it looks cool, is the wingtip. Uh, it's quite a large wingtip for the size of the aircraft, and that again really plays into the efficiency savings. Those wingtips generate lift um, for a very small increase in wing area. The Honda Jet has an all-glass touchscreen cockpit, which means your pilots will have much less work to do, they'll be much happier. And also you only need one pilot because it's a small jet, so you actually can have a passenger up here and carry seven people, unlike some of the larger mid-size or large-size uh, private jets, which need co-pilots. This is definitely a small business jet but compared to the competitors, you, it's definitely got more leg room, more space. It's got some features like fold-out tables on both sides, so you can get some work done, um, and there's seven seats for passengers. It's also the only private jet in its class to have a fully functioning lavatory. It's quite a small toilet, but neither of the main competitors have anything like this. You can get a little skylight so you can look out at the clouds as you fly by. limited cabin room, it's nice to see that the designers have thought about space-saving features like these armrests that fold away. range of 1,223 nautical miles with four people on board, that's enough to get you from London to most of Western Europe, pretty much to Greece in one go. It has a cruising speed of 422 knots, so that means you can get to Portugal in a couple of hours or Paris in about half an hour. You probably won't want to spend more than a couple of hours in such a small aircraft anyway, so this is perfect. So they let me sit up in the cockpit for the flight to UK. Uh, that's made me very, very happy. That's it, we landed at Newquay Airport. Um, we had a really smooth ride over. They let me sit in the co-pilot seat, which was absolutely thrilling. Um, and now we're off to have some lunch at Padstow. We're headed back to Luton and the weather's taken a turn for the worse. 
No matter how expensive your jet is, you'll still have to wait if you're landing somewhere that shares the taxiways with commercial jets. So we're back in London after a lovely day in Cornwall. Uh, it's now horrible in Luton. But I hope you enjoyed our video about the new Honda Jet. Uh, please rate and subscribe to our channel on YouTube.